Hey guys, it's Kadjan here with Patty Pack Honda. I'm here with this awesome passport. Today we're going to take a look at how to use Android Auto. You need three things, a Honda passport, check, a cord that is data compatible, check, and an Android smartphone. So let's get started. All right guys, well here we are inside this Honda passport. First thing we want to do, make sure that the engine is running. We're going to press the brake, press the button, get it started up. The Honda system will take a minute to load. So while it's loading, we'll get out our cord. Um, now you should be able to use any cord that is capable of data transfer, but if you find you're having trouble, try using the, the cord that came with your phone or make sure that it's not broken or damaged or anything like that. So what we'll do is we'll take the USB, we open this flap up here, the, the smartphone symbol there. Underneath you'll see there's a USB port. We'll plug this USB plug in there and then we're just about ready to get started. So on your Android phone, you wanna unlock it open your Play Store and search Android Auto. Make sure you download it and open it. Make sure it runs right. See here, it's running, there it goes. Running perfectly. So now, what I'll do is I'm gonna plug in my smartphone to the car and I'm gonna select, it's, it, it's asking me now if I want to enable Android Auto and I'm gonna say yes, we'll enable it. And then my phone will start talking to it it's asking me in the event of a collision, do you want Honda to be able to do that? I'm gonna say yes, absolutely. And I'm going to, on my phone, I'm going to allow it to have access to my messages so that we can have the full access of every feature on Android Auto. So to get started, I'm gonna select Android Auto here. And here we are. We're inside the Android Auto app. You can see now it's got Google Maps open. So this is the home button. It functions like any home button on your smartphone. We're gonna tap it and we're gonna see what we have here. So right away you can see that we've got all our apps showing on the screen, which is great. So, and you'll see here, there's this line. Above this line are your recently used apps. So it's got your phone and that's always gonna stay there. And in this corner, it's gonna be your most recently used map app. So with Android, what we love about it is it's customizable, right? You can pick whatever you want. So right now I've got Google Maps open, but we could scroll down and we can open Waze. And Waze opens up and we can use Waze to find where we wanna go. If I hit the home button, there Waze is there. So we've got plenty of options too when it comes to music. We've got Google Play Music. You can see we're listening to a little bit of jazz music right now. But if we want, we can listen to Google Podcasts. We could listen to a podcast like that. Works great. You can hit the home button there, but we can also, we can go down, we can run Spotify. And then here's, this is the now playing button. You can listen to some rock and roll. We can listen to an audiobook if you're an audiobook fan. take just a moment to load. You can listen to a classic audiobook like The Count of Monte Cristo if you didn't read that in grade school. So now you'll see that these icons here have changed because these are our most recently used audio apps. We've also got a couple of awesome features here. Um, we have this. Uh, this is available. You can tap that icon. There's one entry for today. At 6 p.m. you have Deer Camp. Yeah, so I got a calendar entry there saying Deer Camp, so it can read it to me. You can also have it read the news to you by tapping the news icon, or you can have it read the weather. Let's see what the weather is. Currently in Ridgeland, it's 47 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 53 and a low of 33. Great. There's also a really awesome feature where you can say, okay, Google, read me my text messages. There aren't any new messages I can read. Great. So I don't have any messages. But if we were riding down the road and we felt our phone go off or if we got a notification here, we would have that feature as well. You can tap the little bell and see any notifications. You can see here, I don't have any notifications. But if I were to get a text or anything else, that would pop up there. One other cool thing I want to point out before we finish up this quick tutorial is here if you're running your map app, and you want to switch to your audio app that's most recently used, you can press this little button here. And if you want to switch back to your maps, you connect my phone now. A big question that a lot of people have is, okay, now I've gotten a new phone or I'm trading in my car. How do we delete it off of here? And that's a great question and one we're going to figure out real quick. You want to press the home button 
and find your settings icon and you want to go to system uh, and you want to go to connections first we'll go to Bluetooth and there's my phone we'll tap it and we'll go up here in the corner and we'll say delete device yes now we'll go back and we'll go to Android Auto and we'll go in here and we'll delete this device. And now the car does not remember my phone at all. It's been completely removed. So if we were to trade this car in or if I had gotten a new phone, it wouldn't be in here anymore. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. Um, real quick, we wanna run through some troubleshooting. If you can't get it to work for whatever reason, here's some things you can try. I mentioned making sure that you have the cord that came with your phone and making sure that it's not damaged. You can inspect it for frays and make sure that the end isn't messed up. Make sure you're running the most updated version of Android and make sure that you have the most updated version of Android Auto. So update your phone regularly, update your apps regularly, make sure that they're running good. Also, one key thing is you have to be in park to set it up. Once you're moving, you can't set up a new phone in Android Auto. You can plug in your phone if it's already been set up for Android Auto, but you can't set up a new one. So you need to be in park. Plus guys, we want you to be safe out there. Don't go fiddling with your system while you're driving down the road. That's just dangerous and it's silly. So thanks guys so much for, for joining us on this video and we hope to see you again soon.